everyone i hope you are all well today i'm going to be doing a zara haul now the things that i've picked up are predominantly summer wear so if that sounds like something you're interested in then keep watching i've decided i'm just going to do one every month maybe two maybe three I'm just looking for an excuse. So I'm gonna go straight in. The items that I've picked up, they're mainly for summer. And yeah, I'm very excited. So following the white theme that I've got going on here, I want to show you the first item that I got. So maybe I should get hangers. I learned from last time that I should definitely have hangers when I'm showing you guys things because the first item I would like to show you is this pleated dress. Now, I got it in the colour white. I believe that's the only colour they do it in. I also got it in a size extra small. Now, this dress is a mini dress, so it will probably only just about go up to my knees. And I can see myself pairing this with a nice belt and potentially some sandals. So, yeah, I think this will be really nice in the summer. Um, my only concern is that it's quite thin thick and I think that's due to the amount of pleats that it has in it because I don't it's not double layered so it is quite thick so maybe for one of those more cooler summer days I think that this would be a perfect dress but yeah it does seem to come up quite big so do size down um if you are planning on getting it or just get true to size I've got an extra small and it seems like it'll be fine so yeah I think it's one of those really feminine dresses where you could either put a belt on and cinch it in at the waist, which will make it look more fitted, or you could just simply leave it like that and put a nice pair of flat sandals on, um, put a nice crossbody bag, and yeah, you're good to go. Something that should always be in your wardrobe is like a white dress in the summer, so I'm happy that I've picked this up. And yeah, I'm really sorry about the lighting. Um, it's a really overcast day, and I'm just not sure that the camera is going to be giving me any justice right now so apologies so the next item that i got was this yellow it's like mustard rather than yellow it's showing up bright yellow on the camera but it's definitely mustard and it's just a simple crop top it's got strappy sleeves and it's ruched at the back this top is actually part of the two piece and i shall show you the matching set in just a second um i just wanted to let you know that the top was 15 pounds 99 and i got it in a size small i do believe this top would look really nice with some denim however which is why i wanted to show you it on its own and give you kind of like insight to how you could probably potentially style it i could even put it under a white top like this potentially some light denim so like a denim skirt or even just some denim shorts like depending on what you feel you could put it pair it with some white linen trousers it just genuinely depends on what you feel i just wanted to draw your attention to that this is the matching skirt the skirt has a really long slit down the side which i appreciate in long skirts i feel like it gives it a little more oomph if that makes sense and yeah, this skirt was £25.99 and I got the skirt in an extra small. Um, I do have a few of these skirts from Zara so I know that extra small is perfect. Um, it does have a stretchy waist so again just buy true to size. But yeah, um, this is really nice material. It's almost silk. I think it's satin to be honest. It's definitely satin actually. And yeah. This is lovely don't forget guys i will link everything down below so if you do have any questions as well just let me know and i'll be sure to answer them for you following on from the yellow cupboard i'd like to show you this dress this is a black denim dress and it is also backless now if you've been here a while you'll know that i love anything that's backless and it comes with a belt so you can tie it up around the waist to make it more cinched in and i just think that's really lovely so if you are like me and you quite like wearing dark stuff during the summer, like more grungier stuff, then I definitely recommend this denim dress. Um, I got it in a size extra small and it was £25.99. And yeah, I love the way that the actual, because I know with some denim they don't do this, but in denim dresses I really appreciate when they curve in at the waist because it really gives you more definition in what you're wearing because sometimes denim can look quite straight. <laughs> and we don't need that, we need to show off our curves ladies. So yeah, this is what this is looking like. Again, it does cinch, it does cinch in at the waist. You've got the belt to pull it in more and the flattering detail of the backless dress just adds to it. And yeah, I'm really, really, really excited to wear this. I can already see myself wearing it with my docs, so yeah. So the next item that I'd like to show you is this green top. Now this green top has serious Shein or Zaffle vibes. Um, I do actually own a top similar to this. It's more brown. I think it's like more nude. I've worn it to Rome. If I find a picture of me wearing it, I'll insert it for you. Um, but yeah, this is giving me that sort of top 
vibe and it's just a crochet knit crop top and I got it in a size small and it was £12.99 now for £12.99 I feel like you can't really go wrong I feel like with anything that's knitted or crochet in the summer it always looks way more expensive than what you've probably paid for um this khaki colour as well I feel like khaki is such a nice colour to wear in the summer especially with like a white or like a really light denim so getting this was like a necessity it was a needed piece i love the fact that you've got ties here so you can tie it more at the front if you wish depending if you wanted a more bustier look or not um i mean i don't particularly want that look with this because i feel like it's quite low already so i'll probably just wear it as it as it is uh do you mind that the straps they're not adjustable so I'll probably get true to size although i may not look it right now i do have quite big boobs for my frame um so i did actually just get true to size so my back is actually like the width of my body is small but i know that i'll make up for it here so getting well i believe they don't even do extra small what i'm trying to say is just be mindful that there's no straps or any adjustments that you can do to make the top fit better but as a rule it's gorgeous i love the color and i can't wait to wear it with some white even like some nudes or some browns i just feel like it's gonna look so nice now this next item is so bright and if it doesn't show up on camera i'm gonna be fuming <laughs> nope i knew it wouldn't so this looks hot pink on camera but i just want to assure you the color is the deepest purple you could ever imagine like imagine the most purple purple you could think of it's this okay so this is the satin finished jacquard dress and i picked this one up because i felt like when you, you know when you don't want to get dressed up or you don't have the energy to be dressed up and put so many intricate pieces on. I feel like this is one of these dresses that you can just throw on and feel like you've seriously made an effort, even though you haven't. It's like putting on a jumpsuit, like a really baggy jumpsuit. So that's what drew me to this, because I thought, you know what, it's just going to be so easy. With a pair of like heeled sandals, you'll look like you've seriously made an effort. Um, so yeah, the only thing that makes it look a little bit inexpensive is the elasticated waist. Now, I'm not sure if that will show when I'm trying it on, but obviously you guys will know because it'll be here. And yeah, um, that's the only thing that makes it look a bit inexpensive. It does have kind of like bat wings, which is so dated, but at the same time, I do feel like it's just going to work. Um, so yeah, I'm high, I have high hopes for it. If it looks bad in the try on clip, wherever, wherever it is, we're just going to ignore that, okay? Because I have high hopes for it, okay? I also love how the bottom of it is layered, so I'm literally on my tiptoes because I'm such a short person. <laughs> but yeah, I love how the bottom of it's layered, so you could literally wear bright yellow pants if you wanted to, and no one would know. <laughs> That's not the reason why I love that it's layered. The reason I love that it's layered is because I just think it gives it a lot more of vibes. I can't explain myself, I don't even know why I bother trying, because explaining what clothes make you feel like or what they look like is the most difficult thing in the world, like it's not even a thing. But yeah. So that is everything for today's video. Now, I like to keep my Zara hauls quite short and sweet. I'd rather, I mean, I know personally, I wouldn't sit through a 20 minute Zara haul. So that's why I keep them short and sweet. I will have another one coming up next week, which will be the second part of this haul, as I do like to split them into two parts. And yeah, let me know in the comments what ones you liked. Let me know what you preferred. Um, I love reading your comments, so please leave me a comment. Thank you. So yeah, thank you so much for watching and I guess I'll see you soon. I don't know why this outro seems so awkward today, but it just does. I feel like I'm actually being watched, but I'm not sure why. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. But yeah, I'm gonna continue filming. I'm gonna film the second half, but again, that won't be up for the next couple of days. And yeah, enjoy the rest of your day. Stay safe and thank you so much for watching. Bye. Mm, there's not much to do when all I can is thinking about you, not doing well Don't know where you are, cause you're not here It's been way too long If I could lay down beside